Within the United States, there are uh, certain states that have state agencies that uh, function as a, a radiation protection uh, regulatory agency within the state, whereas in others it's under the, the federal um, uh, jurisdiction. Um, but I think in general, uh, one of the things I'm quite interested in is, is having the health department woven into these activities as well, that uh, sometimes you've got a state agency over here doing just radiation stuff, but it's very important for them to be woven in with the public health response as well, both in preparation, in education, uh, and, and weaving some of those uh, resources together. So uh, I, th I think that we're going to see one of the outcomes of, the, of the, the lessons learned from Fukushima is having radiation protection community woven in tighter with the public health, uh, county, local public health, so they can coordinate activities. I can tell you on, on the U.S. side, I mean, my involvement in Texas, we, we closely interacted with both the radiation community and the health community to uh, be prepared for potential monitoring if, the, uh, if uh, any of that uh, trace amount of radioactive material were to come to Texas, which it did not, but, but I suspect that was the case across the country where there were these monitoring stations, but they needed to, to closely interact with the public health agencies as well so we can make sure the right information gets out to the public in a consistent manner. So that's the last thing you want is to, in a situation like that where for things to get inadvertently uh, confusing to the public, they're already somewhat apprehensive about this event, it's something uncertain and new, and then if they get mixed messages, it could be even more problematic. The rush uh, for potassium iodide tablets uh, in, in, as the radioactive material the trace amounts were making their way across the Pacific uh, is a good example of where radiation safety and the public health community need to be woven together because I think you know, what we need to inform the public is that potassium iodide can be used to protect the, the thyroid from uh, radioactive iodine, but there's some downsides to that and let's, make sh let's see how much radioactivity we're talking about first and then we can give you recommendations on whether it's necessary or not, which of course it was not. But uh, that's where, as a good example, where the radiation community and the public health community have to be in lockstep together to inform the public about those issues. And unfortunately, in this day and age, where a lot of people get information on the web and it's kind of unclear exactly where that's coming from, I think that's why it's so important for the agencies to be um, synchronized so that we can get the right public health information out to people because some folks are tapping into these other sources that may or may not be um, the right public health information that they need.